Hello. Today's story will be set in the shunting yard. And yes, the location has changed. The shunting yard was in a bit of a mess today. Mostly because Thomas and Percy were too lazy to clean up after themselves. And oh look, here they come now. Alright. Alright, we're here. Let's get to work. Said Thomas and Percy. They thanked the Rusty for the ride. Oh, they're not... Oh, Thomas's batteries are now. He's just lazy. Now, please, Marsh... Now, so Top of Matt says he needs a massive goods train to go out today. You guys better get on it. I'll be back in, like, three hours. Shit. So, Thomas and Percy got right to work. Shunting the truck. That's and making sure every train got out... And time. In this universe, Gordon doesn't care if he has to shunt coat his er and coaches. He does it anyway, because the top of the hat will fucking kill him if he doesn't. Meanwhile, halfway across the shunting yard, a, fa a fa famous number one blue boy was just shunting the trucks. When he saw a red one. A red truck? Hey Percy, do you know what this one's for? No. I haven't actually seen this one before. Well, crap, he knocked over a truck, and a... Wait, what type of truck is that? They asked. Thomas went over to... Dis to look at it. It looked to be an old tender. A very old one, indeed. Uh, Mr. Hand, can you do something about this? Asked Thomas. Yes, I can, said God himself. Thanks, mate, he said. N and W. What does that mean? Hmm, maybe North and West? The, we're the Northwestern Railway. Does that mean there was an engine that was here before? Possibly. I know. Maybe we'll have to spend the night here. Yeah, yes, maybe. Just for safekeeping, Thomas shunted the uh, tender into the, the siding, just to be safe. Meanwhile, Mr. Hand put the cocaine addict truck back onto the line. Alright, no more spazzing out. I don't want you to make more discoveries, said Thomas, as he shunted them off the line. Oh, he didn't go off the line. Now he did. And then there was trouble. Percy was so startled by the truck being derailed that he bumped the milk tanker, which went rolling down the line over a switch, heading straight towards a fuel tanker that was parked there for some reason. Mostly because the coupling was broken. It bumped into the uh, fuel tanker, which went again rolling down the line, into James, who was conveniently parked there. Wait, what the f- the tanker and James felt went off the line. Luckily, the tanker was empty. He, but James James was damaged. Hmm. Doesn't look like it. Whoops. Sorry. I got startled by the red truck coming off the line. Well, you better find someone that can put me back on the bloody line. We'll find something, said Thomas. And he puffed away. He was trying to find the breakdown train when he realized that it wasn't outside the garage. 
he start, he was raging in the corner when he felt an urge to put on the tender they parked in the siding earlier. So he did. He did and he puffed away with it. Don't worry James, I'm back. That's just a tender. What is it gonna do? This, he said. It as he magically put James and Tarwag I mean in fuel tanker back on 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 the line. Wow, that was strange. I didn't even feel myself being picked up. How'd you do it? Feels like this tender's magical. But if it gets in the wrong hands, it could be dangerous. That's why it's going to the smelters. So no one can get their hands on the magic. Can I please have a turn with it? Sure, knock yourself out. Not... Oh yeah, the the track just ends here. He didn't. His room isn't that big. Fine, I guess I could just place it in with the other scrap things that no one wants. Damn, that coach is scary. Now it was time to form the train. It's been like two hours. We need to get the train sorted. So while James was sitting in the corner doing absolutely nothing productive, Thomas started biffing and bashing the trucks to form a train. Soon, the train was ready to be taken to the smelters. Not to mention the two smelting two scrap things, the, an old engine, and the tender that was used to re-rail James. You know, said Rusty, I didn't expect you guys to get it done, but look what you did. The yard is now empty, these trucks are on their way to the scrap yard, just to drop them off, some stuff off, then they're coming back here. I say, you did a very good job, but the tender looks very familiar. <laughs> What do you mean? said Thomas and Percy. Well, back in the day it used to be here for an engine named Hero. Hero got into a terrible accident which destroyed his entire body. He, the only thing that survived was the tender. Damn it, I accidentally had it pointing in the wrong direction. It was re rebuilt into a miniature tank engine like here and was built for the Speed King Company. But he soon broke down, and considering the company went bust a couple of years ago, they couldn't repair him. So it was just left to rot there. Guess they found, finally found his body, not to mention the old tender. It was kind of separated from him. It, it worked on the Northwestern Railway as the, the a replacement tender. People always felt weird with it. Strange. I've shunted that tender 50 times. And I've never felt anything wrong with it. No, you didn't, because you're not a fucking tender engine. Well, you did your greatest. See you later, lads. Congratulate me back when I'm... Congratulate me when I'm back from the smelters. Said Rusty as he slowly puffed... Just whirred away with his freight truck. We can all learn something from this. Is that that luck always comes in different ways? This this figure is just a director's cut, but but I wanted to add this in. Look how much mess I made just by making this one video. Right, by the way, if you're wondering why the turntable's there, it wasn't originally for the shunting yard. The first scene was gonna have the engines getting ready. Yeah, to go work. Getting out of Tidmouth Sheds up there. Yeah. Goodbye, everyone.